I honestly think all of my fake tan has worn off and I'm literally just pale now. Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to click subscribe. I just waffle on about clothes, sneakers, uh, occasionally take you around with me for the day so you can see what it's like. I asked you guys on my Instagram story the other day what kind of videos you wanted to see and a lot of people were talking about more affordable options. So I thought I would run you through my top five affordable places to shop online so we don't even have to leave the house. You can just grab your internet device, which is either a laptop or a phone, I don't know why I'm explaining to you what can look at the internet. But I'm gonna shifty over here a little bit and I'm gonna share my screen with you. I'm just like Googling how to screen record on a Mac. Yeah, give me one second. Okay, so before we get into this, I'm gonna run through my top five affordable places to shop online. I'm gonna check their new in page and we're gonna live, like kind of go through and see what's what and see what they have on offer and see what's good. Obviously, right, so I'm a full-time fashion blogger and I have been full-time for like four years now. I just enjoy looking at the new in pages of websites like constantly. Is that a hobby? I think it's a hobby. It's either a hobby or a problem. I think it's probably a problem. I'm gonna call it a hobby because why not? So the first affordable place that I would always check out is obviously ASOS. ASOS is literally like my saving grace. I shopped ASOS religiously when I was at university because everything is affordable. When they do student discounts, it's amazing. They sell loads of brands on there too, which you can also get the discounts on. They're constantly pushing the boundary of high street fashion as well, for like, especially for guys. Like they'll do stuff that's a bit more out there, or a bit more like fashion forward. They can get it very, very right. But they can get it very, very wrong. So <laughs> yeah, it can go both ways. So I'm on new in clothing for menswear. ASOS White. Okay, ASOS White is a great collection. If I open this in a new- wait, oh my god, I didn't even start the screen record. I'm gonna do it now. Cool. So ASOS White is literally like, their stuff is so nice. These are some co so I'm assuming there's a matching jacket as well. Um, but ASOS White is a bit more premium. It's like on the higher side of uh, the prices on ASOS, but like, look at that hoodie. That hoodie is so cute. Like, what's on the back of that? Oversized hoodie with chest pocket and back print. It's got like a flower on the back with some writing. Oh, I don't like the zip on the front. Um, but everything else is really nice. Really nice tones, really nice color palette. And they've got like basics and then more like out there things. I have literally just ordered this suit in beige because it's really, really nice. It's quite oversized. I ordered a super massive size, so I don't know how that's gonna look. But I'm gonna try it anyway. And that's the beauty of ASOS as well. Like. You can try it on in your own home, and if it doesn't fit, you can just send it back really easy. This is not sponsored by ASOS. I've actually never been paid by ASOS to do anything. Sponsor me please, ASOS. <laughs> Going back to the new inn, we have some espadrilles, which I dislike. We have a patchwork cut and sew denim shirt, which I also dislike. So then you get these fun things, like an ASOS t-shirt with drawstring hem that's only 14 pounds. Like obviously a drawstring hem is disgusting, but it's nice that they're trying. Disgusting! I sound like an absolute bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, boiler suits, hot pants. Yeah, they just have a lot of different things. I think it caters to everyone as well. Like, also, they're really trying to push crop tops for guys. And oh my god, my brief intermission, and we are back. It's also really trying to push crop tops, and I'm not like against it. I feel like guys can look really great in a crop top, but they're just pushing it like a lot. Like, they don't even push regular t-shirts this much. That window pane check shirt is kind of cute. And that thing with drawings on it. See, again, a crop top. T-shirt with half sleeve turtleneck zip. Like, that for me is too much. But it's only 14 pounds, so. And again, crop polo shirt with zip neck in black. Like, I would be interested to see the sales of their crops. Oh no. ASOS design oversized t-shirt with half sleeve and transparent fabric. This looks like one of those umbrellas. You know like an umbrella? <laughs> I said it as if I didn't know what an umbrella was. But you know those umbrellas that have like tra a transparent? That literally looks like that. That is so confusing to me. Also, I've had clear garments and shoes before and they literally fill up with condensation and sweat. Like yes, they look interesting and cool, but the reality 
It's sweat. Let's load another page. See, look at this. ASOS design, regular fit, satin, collarless button, through shirt in black. Like, obviously, that's not something that I would wear, but for £25, that looks, like, really sleek and sophisticated. That could suit someone. That would look good on loads of different guys. Then you get your, like, branded, like, Abercrombie and all this kind of stuff. You got your Nike. Wow, the new one is really un uninspiring right now. Do you ever have this where you go through a dry patch? Well, the stores do. Like, you go on these websites and you're like, nothing excites me, nothing is inspiring, nothing is going wow or like popping out. It's quite annoying. But I think what we got from that was that ASOS do try and they like crop tops. <laughs> but ASOS white is good to check out and their oversized suits are really, really good at the moment. And yeah, it's affordable. That is my first like port of call when I think affordable clothing. The next one, now I don't go on this a lot. It was Daniel Simmons that turned me on to this because I had never even really been in before, but Uniqlo. Uniqlo do some really, really nice affordable pieces and it's all very like basic, but not in a bad basic way, more in like a your basics kind of way. And they also do great socks. So I bought loads of socks from there. I went on a bit of a socking <laughs> spree, if you will. Oh my God, there's a P Pokemon collaboration. What? Let me just check this out. Oh, that's really cute. All winners. Oh, so did people enter these? Oh, Alola Marowak. Alola Marowak is one of my favorite Pokemon. That's really cute. I know they do do collaborations a lot. Like I saw Naruto, Street Fighter. Ow, my eye, I have something in my eye. JW Anderson and stuff like that. So it's really interesting to actually go on their site and have a look around. Let's go back and let's go on their new inn. So men's hooded pocketable parka. Men's fleece zip jacket, nice. I think the main thing that stands out for me from Uniqlo is the tones and colors of everything. Like you can literally get the same piece in so many different shades, which is a great thing to utilize in your wardrobe, especially if your wardrobe is based more around like tonal fits rather than like branded pieces or prints because they mainly do like plain things, which is great. And the fit's are really nice as well. They have a couple of options in trousers and stuff. And yes, socks. As you can tell, I'm not a massive like Uniqlo person. I've literally just bought socks from there, but I think it's a great affordable place to go, especially if you're looking for just plain basic things. Next up on my list is Zara. Now, Zara, kind of like ASOS for me. Well, I find a lot more things on ASOS than I do on Zara. I love Zara. I love the idea of Zara. I love the Zara website. But in reality, Zara website is not what Zara store is. Zara in store is very different from Zara online. I'm gonna go on their new collection. I'm gonna go on their new in. I think the website is like beautifully shot. It's like an, a real editorial vibe. But like, you see that bag there? That like transparent prism-esque crossbody bag. That looks so cool in that picture, but when you get that in real life, that is not gonna look like that. Like this editorial is beautiful, look at this. This is like Louis Vuitton prism hold all vibes all around. But you just know in real life that that bag is not gonna translate to this editorial vibe that you want. Some nice kind of Birkenstock-esque sandals, which is cute. I love that this is an advert for a t-shirt. I love that this is a product shot for a t-shirt because it's literally the guy's face. I'm like, what's this for? Oh the t-shirt. That wallet is kind of cool. Oversized reptile texture wallet. I like that. You see what I mean? It just looks stunning. Like th it's shot really nicely. Everything looks luxurious, well made. Yeah, so I'm not really seeing anything popping out with me. It's very like, to me, Zara can come across extremely European. And not that that is a bad thing, but for me, like European style is very different. I mean, Zara's from Spain, am I right? So the style does cater to that more like European customer. Sometimes it's very me. Sometimes it's not very me. Like today is not very me. Like I'm going through this new one and not seeing a single thing that I personally would wear. Oh, I mean, are we we're we going or something? No. Sometimes do Zara, Zara do like capsule collections that cater towards like a certain kind of theme. Like when I got that safety pin sweatshirt and I bought like seven pieces at once because I was like, this stuff is amazing. And then I've not actually bought anything from Zara since then because nothing has appealed to me. So that's a shame. But Zara is a great place to shop if you like what they sell. <laughs> Isn't that the best advice you've ever received? Okay, let's go to one of my personal favorites. And please, everyone from America, literally whenever I mention weekday on my Instagram or on YouTube, I get so many comments and messages being like, but weekday don't ship to the USA. And I'm like, 
I can't change that. I'm sorry. It is a great affordable option if you live in Europe. You can get weekday on ASOS, but they don't stock everything if you're in the US. That is the only way. And I can't proxy anyone weekday things, okay? <laughs> Which I have been asked a lot for. That key leather belt, people are like, yo, mate, can you proxy? I'm like, yeah, bitch. I can't proxy your damn 25 pound belt. Okay, so let's sort the new one in. Interesting, V-neck t-shirts. Ooh, the bird hoodie. I don't know what the bird hoodie is. Underwear, that underwear is actually really, really comfortable. FYI. Some of the t-shirts are nice. They've got loads of different fits. Like here we see like a Frank one, a Kennedy one, a Hubert one. You really do have to try them on because I got one weekday t-shirt and the neckline is like a freaking black hole. I was like, whoa, not fun. Um. Some really nice trousers on weekday. I've seen a lot of half zips from ASOS to weekday, a lot of like polo half zips, and I'm just not seeing where they're coming from or a reason why they exist at all. To me, half zips remind me of Fear of God from like three years ago, and it's like, it wasn't even practical. I was like, I wanna unzip this. Oh wait, it won't go any further. Oh wow, a leather vest. See, weekday come out with some like hard hitters every now and again. 135 pounds. Wow, I could live my yeehaw fantasy. I kind of love this. But yeah, the leather pieces aren't that affordable because obviously it's real leather. Oh, they're cute swim shorts, just 20 pounds. I don't get it as well. Yeah, sometimes weekday sell brands. So they've had vans in the past before. They've got LS or LSE now, however you want to say it. Oh, those Dan shorts are really nice. Yeah, they're cute. That printed shirt is kind of cool as well. And the jackets. Yeah, weekday have some really nice stuff. Oh, those Gunder shorts are really cool. I think weekday is a good option in summer to find affordable pieces, but I think where weekday really shines is in the winter. They're like coats and jumpers. They're coats, sweatshirts, the kind of winter vibes I really love from weekday. But they do have great options for summer as well. I think dressing in general is harder for guys in summer because we don't tend to get as many options. I mean, ASOS are really pushing the crop tops out there so maybe I should try that. Maybe I should just shut up and try the crop top because I'm here like women get more choice but actually I have choice I'm just choosing not to wear it. So I've done ASOS Uniqlo Zara weekday. Okay Bershka. Okay Bershka is another one that I don't go on that much but I do check it out now and again so I thought it'd be cool to check it out. Bershka's website is another weird one because it's like everything's super big. Okay, some white Bermuda shorts, cool. I do like the look of some of Bershka's denim. They have some like nice wide fit denim, which looks quite inviting. And they also do very affordable sneakers that look similar to luxury sneakers. So like a dupe, you would call it. Wow, these rainbow ones are cool. Pride month, yes. Men's multicolored trainers, they're actually really sick. They, they remind me of like track sneakers, but a little more like toned down. I like that they're rainbow. Oh, well, they've got a Snoopy collab at the moment. Interesting. Burj Crew, another one that do collabs as well. They had a Dragon Ball collab a few months ago, which was sick. So they've got things that are on sale in the new in, which I find very confusing because I feel like there should be a separate section for sale things. We have a Tiger digital print, which is very strange. Blame print, that literally looks like an SS World Corp shirt. Honestly, I don't really like SS World Cup, but that just literally looks exactly like it. We have some like windbreakers, some more sneakers, Pokemon collab, cute, seems to be a running trend at the moment. Again, I'm not super, super inspired, but it's presented nicely. Okay, I'm kind of bored of this now. I guess there's crossbody. And then there's some crossbodies towards the bottom as well. And finally, my last one. I realize this is the sixth one, but I mean, more affordableness for your eyes. And it is Boohoo Man. So, I feel like Boohoo Man, you have to pick very wisely. Boohoo Man had a really big turning point where they kind of shifted and focused more on like trends and style rather than like really super, super basic. I feel like they've done a really good job in matching their men's side to their women's side in a sense that usually when women's retailers start a men's clothing range as well, they tend to just make like t-shirts and shorts and jeans and stuff, but I don't know, like, it was when like Fashion Nova Men came out and it's like people expect the same kind of trends like from the women's translated to the men's. So like if you're doing utility wear for the females with like neon and harness and tactical things and like cargo and neutrals and all this kind of stuff, you want that in the men's as well. You don't then want to go to the men's section and just see some like collection of menswear that's not even been thought about and literally just plastered on there because it's men's and they will wear it. So yeah, they've had their own like shoots, they've had their own visions and 
different selections of trends and stuff. So I'm gonna view all of the new in, but I think there is quite a lot of pages of it. Here we have a striped shirt and shorts co-ord set for only 26 pounds which is super, super affordable. They had their collection with Quavo back in April, which apparently was their best seller. And obviously it caters more towards that kind of like hype beast, street, street, streetwear guy. But I'm glad that they're kind of like pushing the boundaries and like working with different kinds of people and trying different kinds of collections and just having fun with it as well. They recently released a pride collection as well. See here, you've got like metallic windbreakers. Like yes, some of the denim. I feel like that's one place that Boohoo isn't really pushing the boundaries and that's with their trousers because a lot of them are still really tight fitting and skinny fit. I guess it caters to the kind of like Love Island people. If you're not from the UK, you don't know what Love Island is, I'm sorry. But again, that kind of like Migos, like wearing super skinny tight jeans with like massive Balenciaga triple S. Not that I ever did that, but it's still that kind, they're still trapped in that kind of like streetwear box. And I really want them to push through and experiment with like wider fit denim and not having to, you know, put logos on everything. This denim jacket with contrast stitch is a really, really really nice piece. Like, I know that mismatch items have been a bit of a trend lately, so that is a really, really nice piece to grab if you like it, like I said. So yeah, again, we have some like questionable cohorts coming through, but nice that they're playing with neons. That white blazer is really cool. See, more fun things like iridescent. A jacquard, jacquard feather kimono. Interesting. No matter what like preconceptions you have of any store ever, whether it's ASOS, Boohoo or whatever, I hate it when people are snobby about fashion because not everyone can afford designer clothes. Not everyone wants to spend, you know, more than 30 pounds on a t-shirt or they don't see it as something that they want to do, which is absolutely fine. And I can't stand it when people judge each other for clothing or the price of clothing or they would look down on someone else because of it, because I think that's ridiculous. Obviously everyone has their personal opinion, like I was questioning some of the prints or like talking about some of the pieces because I didn't like them from my opinion, but that means I just won't wear them and I won't buy them and that's kind of it. I, won't, I wouldn't go out of my way to like find someone that's wearing that and be like, this is bad. But yeah, that is the bottom of the page of Boohoo, another great affordable place to shop if you're looking for something interesting or a bit different. I would go into like, the realms of all my Korean stores that I look at online, but after the shipping and the customs and stuff, it wouldn't make it as affordable as these places. And obviously these places ship worldwide, except weekday. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some inspiration of places to look for more affordable clothing. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching guys, bye.